Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, a vague sense of ennui with no home to go to. And today it is time for episode 31 of my Let's Play of Paradise Killer. And the first thing that we have on our docket, after appreciating the gentle, stark, austere beauty of an overloaded telephone and power transmission pole, which I think, I think they do have a genuine beauty. You can see why they've become such an iconic image used in the more sort of esoteric or existential uh, anime, or at least the ones that get imported to the West. They, they just have a real vibe. They have a real thematic weight to them as symbolic objects. So much passes through them in one's mind. Why is this on fire? Oh wait, I don't know why that is. That is a shrine. Which we have already activated. But yeah, so the first task on our docket is going to be to pick someone to go bother. I need to go re-interview every single suspect. And I think I'm just going to pick whoever is closest, which I think I think it's probably Yuri. Although Sam Daybreak might be a bit closer, but I think I want to talk to Sam Daybreak after I've talked to his wife first. Um, because that's how investigation do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut and then we'll catch up. And here we found him. Yuri. Voted three times sexiest car dispatcher of the year in Taxis Monthly. Suspected uh, borrower of divine power. General general smug attitude haver. Anyway, let's go talk to him about his alibi. I think I've... Haven't I used all of these previously? Well. Enchanted Blue is secured by god hunters in the real world. She's in the pyramids hidden in the caverns in the Sahara. The Syndicate exists to resurrect the gods. How can we sit idly by when a goddess is in the hands of an enemy? Retrieving her would be a suicide mission. You're familiar with deception by gods, right? Like you, the disgraced freak. I haven't been deceived. That's a crime. Future counsellors can't commit crimes, can we? How did you go through such a big transformation? Enchanted Blue blesses those she deceives with physical perfection. You're saying I'm perfect, freak? You like what you see? This man is a child. <laughs> has, this guy has, like, terminal boy-man syndrome. I'm not into little boys. Ugh, you're a joke, freak. You're going to fail and go back to exile if you keep focusing on everyone except the killer. What if you're the killer? Is this the brilliance of your investigation technique? Just ask rhetorical questions and hope someone confesses? Judge made a mistake bringing you back. I've scanned your phone. You can have it back now. Believe me now, freak. My job isn't to believe. I need proof. And now you have proof. There is a ten minute period where your phone went dark. Your alibi has a hole in it. Lydia told me she lost contact with you last night during that window. She tried to contact you while she was waiting at the Paradise Gates just before the murder. And? Maybe your phone was off? Why would my phone be off while I'm directing the fairy woman? Do you even think, freak? The reality folding drive might have disrupted the communications. Every time he puts his hand up in front of his face like that, I'm looking at the text, and in the corner of my vision I think he's dabbing. At the end of an island, the folding drive does a final burst of power to both islands during the transition. The radiation sometimes causes localised areas of communication and electrical interference. That seems convenient. What do you want me to say? Is that is true though? Can I can I get someone to tell me whether or not that's true? Who's the, who is an engineer on this island? None of these none of these people have that as their sphere of influence. Who maintains the folding drive? Your job is to direct Lydia when she moves us to the next island, right? What do you want now? What did you direct her to do right before the council murder? I asked her to take her husband off the island. The end of island party was over and his bar could be shut down. What time was this? About 23.40, I think. Yuri, let's rap for a second. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> rap? Good, I'm glad he has the same attitude. 
You put a key in the Nightmare computer connected to the obelisks on the beach and activated them. What are you talking about? You did, I've got the logs. Don't worry, someone else accessed them, but they were more intelligent than you and used a wireless access device. More intelligent? The insects on this island can barely tie their shoelaces, let alone figure out the symbols on obelisks in space. I've never seen him angry before. Thanks, Yuri. For what? Well, you just told me about the symbols on the obelisks, which I did not ask about, and you'd only know about that if you used them. Checkmate, atheists. Where did you get the key from to access the obelisks? I have no idea what you're talking about, freak. Oh, don't hold out on me, Yuri. I know you know the secret of the second seal. I have nothing else to say. This is why you don't talk to cops, man. Like, come on. This is dealing with police 101. Have you ever visited the library vaults? From time to time. Don't be coy, Yuri. I expect better answers than that. I don't know why you're asking. I'm chasing some leads. That vault contains forbidden texts about demonology. A demon is purported to have possessed a citizen and murdered the council. It also contains other books. I'm the architect's secretary. She occasionally requires records and texts for her work. So you did not take books on demonology. Do the words demonology and architecture sound the same to you, freak? Did you see the Grand Marshal last night? I didn't see her, freak. There's never a comma between what he's saying and the word freak. It's really weird. Um, it makes it sound like he's saying that he did not see her freak out. Like, I don't know, I didn't see her freak. Did you see Crimson last night? I knew she was ready for pickup, but I left her until the end. She hates it here, and I had the power to make her wait a little longer, so I did. <laughs> he's such a bitch, I love him. Did you see the doctor last night? He said he was in his clinic. Ask him, not me. Is there anything else you can tell me about Henry's movements? Seriously, do I need to hold your hand? Go speak to the Grand Marshal. Did you see Witness? I'm aware the architect planned to visit him last night. You can check with her. How do you know? I'm the architect's assistant. I arrange her appointments and I make sure that she can carry out her work without being obstructed by anyone else on this island. What do you know about the escape? What would I know? All right, what do you know about the murder of Grace Bloodlines? Absolutely nothing, investigator. All right, time to, I guess, hang out with this tedious man. Got time to chat? What now? You seem to be ambitious. Is that a statement or a question? Why are you like this? Like what? Don't be arrogant, Yuri, you know what. I just want people to use language correctly when addressing their betters. Betters? I am now secretary to the leader of the syndicate. Temporary leader. Maybe. It certainly makes me have a higher station than an exiled freak. Titles don't make you a better person. The lower class often use that argument. If that were the case, why am I in a position of power and respect and you're not? Respect is something you earn. Power is not a, always a positive quality. Platitudes of the jealous. Maybe life isn't about status and acquiring power. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Goodbye, freak. Goodbye, Yuri. I'm wondering, I'm wondering where. May you see through a million eyes. May you reach the moon. It's interesting, this fundamental element of etiquette in their society, everyone always makes sure to actually give their second half of, of the ritual, like, greetings and, um, and farewells. Even people who hate your guts and are dedicated to obstructing you in your duties still make sure to actually say, May you reach the moon. Ah, I thought I'd make it across that gap. Oh well. Oh hey, wow, that took me really far away. I wonder I wonder how it decides where to put you, because I haven't been in this area in ages. Anyway, uh next up we're gonna go talk to the doctor. Good old Doom Jazz, my favourite named figure on the entire island. But yeah, I had something else I was going to say and I can't remember what it was because... Uh, I'm very unwell, as I, as I always seem to be. Actually, can I use this? Did I try that before? There's definitely something about activating the boat service so that I can visit something via boat, but this... 
Was this always here? Where does this go? Oh, to one of the pyramids, I guess. But yeah, no. What I was going to ask is, why does... You know, where did... Where did... Uh, Lady Love Dies is, like... Vaguely revolutionary, like, philosophy and understanding of this island come from. Because one imagines that she was a true believer back when she was, you know, in charge of the Paradise Psycho unit. Is this all stuff that she's considered to herself and figured out for herself? This kind of sympathy with the um, oppressed labouring classes that they have here? And this, that's the wrong button. There we go. I'm just going to use the secrets checker just to see if there's anything around here to find. Doesn't look like it. Okay, I'm not going to bother exploring then. Because, you know, the only reason to ever explore something is in the hope of finding secret little secrets. Not for the sheer joy of it. Anyway, uh, I don't know what god lives in this pyramid. Presumably... Oh no, it looks like it's crying grudge according to the top left of my screen. Which I believe is the currently only like living god. The only one they've ever successfully rescued. Anyway, I suppose it's just the time of her imprisonment caused her to think a lot about the society and conclude that maybe it sucks, actually. I don't have any reason to come here or look in this, but I'm going to do it anyway. bit irritating. There's, two, there's a two raised arms icon and then there's also two individual raised arms. Time to go meet a god, I guess. I'm not really sure if I should be doing this yet. Perhaps I should have finished talking to everyone else first. Maybe I should, maybe I should come back before bothering a deity. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a pin in this. I'm going to put a, a divine pin in this... Uh, In this, in this great vast being. And I'm going to come back and talk to him after I've talked to all of the rest of these assholes because it just feels wrong. I've been, I've been suppressed by the weight of his divine presence and driven away. Uh, in IRLs, I guess. Alright, you. I've got questions. Dr. Ninja. Oh ho. Interesting. Did I did I ask him about these previously? I thought I had. What's with the photo of Aikiko in your boat? None of your business, investigator. But I said none of your business. Leave it. I've been told you're in love with Aikiko. I assume you paid for that secret. It's none of your business or anyone else's. It has nothing to do with your case. Would you kill the council for revenge of the death of your father? You've got some guts coming onto my yacht flinging bullshit like that around. I'm just doing my job, Doc. I'm not a killer. I never have been and I never will be, regardless of what happened to my father. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean that he wasn't involved, you know. People can say, well, I'm involved in a plot that, some that will help someone else kill someone. That doesn't make me a killer. Even if I put Aikiko in harm's way. You're jumping to some pretty big conclusions and exhausting my goodwill. My personal life and feelings are none of your business. I didn't kill the council and there's nothing in this world that would make me a killer. I was a battlefield medic, but I didn't carry a weapon. I've seen the nightmare of death, and I don't intend to flick inflict it on anyone else, no matter what. This conversation is over. Yeah, but... Brov, you're like... You're one of the upper class in a society that is founded on the mass death of the lower classes in that society. Simply by being here, you are culpable for what these people do. You know, you can't wash your hands of it and say, I've never killed anyone and I never will kill anyone because I think death is abhorrent, and stand by while the people who don't matter are slaughtered. You know, I, I can't tell if that's something I'm supposed to be picking up on thematically or if it's just something the devs didn't think about. Because, like, all of the, like, the complicity of all of these people is so steeped into this narrative, and yet, and yet, it seems reluctant to comment on it. To consider this as anything other than a kind of like somehow natural system that's arisen naturally and they're all just they're all just in it making the best of it 
Like, bruh. You know, are the citizens simply not people to you? I suppose they probably aren't. Anyway, alibi time. Did you experience a comms blackout last night from the reality folding drive burst? Can't say I did, they're pretty unusual. Okay, well that should be evidence against Yuri's claim, shouldn't it? Um, I noticed it didn't add it to my evidence pool. Tell me about the inhibitors used to sedate Henry. Mashahiro Heavy Industries Tech, drugs that sedate the body and inhibit psychic ability. They were designed specifically for victims of demonic possession. Calm the body and mind and stop them from lashing out. Henry's dosage level has been correct for the last decade. Do you know if anything can interfere with Henry's inhibitors? You're not the first person to ask, Love Dies. Who? Witness? Suspicious, in it. Witness is responsible for overseeing the end of an island and ensuring everything goes smoothly. He's obsessed with fail points in the process. He got worried that Henry could be a fail point. Could he get loose at the end? Well, yeah, he did. He's executed and not part of the slaughter ritual with the other citizens. There is a time when he's out of his cage before he's executed. Akiku handles the execution, so he's in safe hands, but Witness got obsessed about the inhibitors that keep him sedated. Are they a fail point? Possibly, but you'd have to get past the Grand Marshal. You'd need a massive spike of adrenaline, and the only way I can think to provide that would be an injection. Could someone have done that? Adrenaline is manufactured by the body, you need a drug to induce it artificially. His blood work came back clean, no one gave him that drug. Akiko thinks the demon tricked the inhibitors and that's how, that's how Henry escaped. It's certainly a theory. Is it a good one? There's no proof. I can't say anything without proof. We've never encountered this phenomenon before, but every race of demons is different. It's worth considering, but you need to try and find proof before relying on a theory. I'll keep that in mind. What about death screams? Could they cause an adrenaline burst? Maybe, but I don't know how you'd weaponize a death scream. What about one of these? It looks like it records death screams. Is that a directional speaker? It is. How would you record a death scream? You could record the brain activity using electrodes. This device looks like it has a crystal in it. Some crystals can record emotions. Oh, cool. Uh, just drop that fact on us, why don't you? The death scream gets written to that, and upon stimulation, the crystal would output the scream. It's one-shot use, though. You can see the crystal's burnt out. I could never experience the death scream, since I'm not a sufferer. I presume you want my opinion, though. The demon that possessed Henry is attuned to psychic energy. This could have been used to agitate it. Handy if you wanted to turn Henry into a weapon. So it looks like my, my, my early theory is getting more and more evidence for it as we move into the end game. This was a grand conspiracy involving all of these motherfuckers. Uh, and Henry himself was simply a weapon they created and used and then threw aside. Or intended to throw aside at least. I'm not letting them do that yet. You examined Grace bloodlines when Henry killed her, right, Doc? A nasty one, for sure. Was there anything odd about the scene or the victim? You mean odd for a case of demonic possession? I didn't get to examine the scene for long. Akiko was in a rush to contain the area, and it was, was a pretty open and shut case. The markings on Grace were strange, though. In what way? Henry's other victim, his mother, had the same sigils scorched into her skin as Henry. Grace had those sigils, but they weren't scorched. They looked like they were carved with a knife. The demon inside Henry burns with cosmic fire, and Henry's victim re received the same branding. So, if he killed the council, they'd carry the sigils. It depends on how he did it. I don't have a lot of evidence to support this, but I expect the sigils are only scorched on victims he had sustained close contact with. A cut and run probably wouldn't do it, but a strangulation would. I should mention that I would expect the inhibitors to prevent or limit the scorching of those sigils. So why were Grace's sigils cut into her? I wrote it off to the madness of demonic possession. We don't know a whole lot about this kind of thing, so I figured he carved in, them in himself as some kind of ritual. I can't say for sure, though. Thanks for your help, Doc. Okay, so he's super duper framed, right? He, he, he burned the sigils into himself, and then he did kill his mother, probably, while under demonic possession. But Grace was killed by someone else, and, and he was framed for it. Which fits with the theories based on the information we had previously, although I'm going to have to do an evidence review at some point to go over this stuff again. What do you know about a photo taken of Grace's throat during your examination? I took photos, but they were confiscated by Aikiko, classified or whatever. I found one on the Marshal's server. Can I get your opinion on it? The bruising on the throat looks odd. That's because the fingers that did it aren't uniform. 
In normal strangulation bruising, you can see areas of pressure from the fingertips and the knuckles. The pressure on these is misaligned. This is normally because the attacker is wearing jewellery. Specifically, in this case, a ring on their wedding finger. What about power armour? No, the gauntlet on the marshal's power armour are gloves with armour plates on top of the hands. Who has a wedding ring? Or wore a wedding ring? This was ten years ago. So someone who was married ten years ago is relevant to who killed Grace Bloodlines. When did... The only married couple currently is um, Lydia and her husband, the Daybreaks. So when were they married? Was that one of them or did someone else get divorced at some point? Wait, shit, hold on a second. Oh shit, hang on. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back in a second. Oh my god, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. She was married, wasn't she? There was information on that somewhere. She's got she's got a wedding ring around her neck. Where did I find that piece of information? She ha it definitely mentioned that she had an ex-husband. Yeah, Isaiah Bullet. He's the guy who he's the guy who kidnaps the citizens in the first place. He's currently moved to Island Twenty Five, and he was previously married to Lady Love Dies. She's been gone for more than ten years though, so it couldn't have been her. So does that mean it was Isaiah Bullet? Cool name, by the way. But yeah, so she. She's been she's been exiled for a thousand years, and the murders took place ten years ago, so it definitely wasn't her. That's interesting. Why would Isaiah Bullet have murdered Grace Bloodlines if it will if it was him? I mean, we can we can be pretty sure it was not Henry who murdered her because he, she doesn't have the sigils, or the sigils were carved in rather, which is what you would do if you were going to frame him for an additional murder, which is also incidentally additional evidence. Uh, against him having murdered the guards out front of the council building because again they were just stabbed with knives uh, and not even the same knife as he was found with but we've already discussed that information all right let's zip through the rest of these did you see the grand marshal last night i saw akiko after the murder when i examined henry can't help you with anything before that have you spoken to akiko did you see crimson she has her little emporium go ask her is there anything else you can tell me about Henry's movements last night? You have spoken to Aikiko, right? She'll tell you what he did. I can't tell how much of this is collusion and how much of this is people just trusting the other members of their class in society, right? How much of this is like, well, why would Aikiko lie to me? And how much of this is um, intentional obfuscation? Did you see Lydia and Sam last night? I was in my clinic all night and I didn't see them. Lydia should have been in contact with, y with Yuri, though. Uh, what did, did you see Witness last night? I don't know what he was doing, but he's normally in his apartment on the last night of an island. Go ask him. It's almost like he doesn't understand the purpose of an alibi. I can't just ask people where they were because they may lie. What do you know about Henry's demonic possession ten years ago? I don't know what to tell you. He's clearly possessed and I wasn't at his arrest ten years ago. If you think there is something suspicious, try the crime scene. His apartment is in the dead zone. Hmm. Well, we've already been there, and uh, there's a mysterious safe I want to crack open, but I can't. There's no lock on it. I have to find out from him how to open it. Got a sec, Doc? How's the investigation going? Caught the bad guy yet? I think I've got some handcuffs somewhere around here, if you need them. Eyebrow waggle. How many people have you used them on? Only a few special ones. Still not settled down, then. Not that kind of guy. Too much experience. I mean, it's a small island. There's not that much to experience. Every person is unique. Each island has a lot of new people. Relationships with citizens are forbidden. Do you want me to get the handcuffs? Want to take me in? You replaced your arms. Nice topic change. An updated model by MHI. They have improved haptics in the fingers. Strictly for medical purposes, I'm sure. Want to test them? I feel like robot fingers would be really pinchy. Like, for fingering purposes, if that's what he's getting at. Well, I suppose you could put glove layers on the outside. Uh, no, though. Not especially. I'm trying to solve a mass murder. And also, you are clearly carrying a torch for someone else, which, you know, doesn't necessarily have to get in the way of hooking up, but I wouldn't trust it not to. Let me know if you change your mind. Goodbye, Doc. I am enraptured by you, love dies. Besotted, enthralled, 
stupefied, flabbergasted. Uh, I can't think of any more good words. Where's this going? I understand the key to your heart is information. You desire the unknown. You desire to know about people. Maybe there's something I can help you with. Time to probe the doctor again. Do you have something you want to tell me? Aikiko's in trouble. She's been mixing business and pleasure. The council found out. They're planning on stripping her of her authority on the next island. Well, that is spicy gossip. Mixing business and pleasure? I'm not giving the details out. And who told you? Ice Kiwami, a while before he died. He gets loose-lipped after a drink. And who told Aikiko? I get loose-lipped around a woman in power armor. Thank you, Doctor. I wish I'd asked the other question about Captain Vo now. Because I don't know if I don't know if Doom Jazz knows about Captain Vo. I should have thought about that before I uh, before I picked it. Oh well. May the cosmos be a mystery. And may you reach the moon. Interesting. There is I cannot stop saying the word interesting. Anyway. Uh, we've gained some pretty pretty concerning information here. I thought for sure for a second that it was gonna be gonna turn out that like Jurin her demonic possession or her uh, god deception rather um, Lady Love Dies had, had been the one to murder Grace but um, you know if she was in exile that could not possibly have been her so that is not what's going on the plot thickens and yet all of that thickening is yet more evidence that reinforces my preconceived notion of who did this and why so join me again next time and we'll do a little bit more exploration and investigation and figuring out and talking to people who will not stop staring at me while I'm monologuing to myself on a pier. Anyway, that's going to be it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe and share. I also stream on Twitch and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.